Okay, let's get to work on lesson 11. Okay, so this exercise two says layout and style. Look through the web page below for new styles. Open the style sheet. With your partner, discuss which parts of the CSS code you think are making the page appear different. Okay, open the style.css. This is the style sheet. Okay, what makes the entire page blue? So the background looks blue. So I'm going to look through, okay, right here. Body, background color, light blue. So this background color here, this is a rule. Body, everything I have highlighted, this is a rule set. So this rule background color, light blue, that is what make, is making it light blue. So let's read our next question. How are the images positioned to the left of all the other elements? Okay, so if you scroll through, this image is on the left. This image is on the left. And that pattern keeps continuing, but they didn't do it for this photo. So maybe, okay, let's look, let's look in the style.css, see why it's to the left. Okay, right there. So there's a rule set for IMG tags, okay? I would imagine that this rule right here, float left, this is probably what's making the image on the left. So let's move on to our next question. What made the image corners rounded? Okay, these image corners are rounded, as you see. So I think this is also going to be in the image rule set. Let's look. I don't see anything that would make me think that the images are rounded here. Let's look elsewhere. So it's got to be there. What made the image corners rounded? Border style, solid, border radius. Let's play around a little bit. Let's see what this does. Okay, yeah, I think that's what does it. Because if I take away and put zero, they're corners. But if I put in a three or a one, it's rounded. So I guess border radius, which is very odd because even if I add and make this a, a very large number, it looks the same. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't look the same. Okay. Okay, so this is the rule that makes the border corners rounded. Uh, in the next few levels, you'll be changing and adding new styles on this page. Okay, great. That These ads have been driving me crazy. Okay. Background color. Find the code in the style sheet that is making the background of the entire page light blue. Okay. That's probably exactly what we did in the last exercise. So it says change the code to make the page a different color. Let's say light red. Red. No, they don't have that. Okay. Light. Light coral. That's what I'm looking for. Perfect. Okay. Change the code. I did that. Try to change the background color of just the paragraphs. Okay. So just the paragraphs. Okay. Let's add I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy this, and I'm going to paste this, copy, I'm going to paste it in the paragraph rule set, see if this works, paste, uh, but we don't want it to be light coral because then it'll look the same, so let's go with light blue here, and yep, that's what did it, perfect. Okay, let's move on to the next exercise. Body styling. The body element is a special element that wraps all of the visible content on a web page. Because everything that you see is inside this tag, any rule set that you create for the body element will apply to every element on page unless the element itself has a rule that contradicts it. This is useful for establishing a baseline style for everything on your page. 
Okay, that might be confusing now. I'm sure we'll understand it by the end of this lesson. This is an example though. This rule set would make all text in your web page blue and centered. Okay, yeah, because we're putting every, we should be putting all text in the body tags on our HTML pages. So it does make sense that this body rule set makes everything centered and everything blue. But like I said, we'll understand that more by the end of this lesson. The body element. Find the body rule set in the style sheet. Okay, up at the top. Right, whoops, right here. Discuss with a partner what you think will happen if you add text, align, color, or other text properties to the body rule set. Well, as we learned in exercise four, I think it will change the alignment of the text and the color of the text for the entire page. Try out some different properties to check your guesses. So let's do that. Text um, align. And what are some options for text line? Okay. Let's do left. Doesn't look different. Let's do center. Still doesn't look different. Let's refresh maybe. Hmm. Right. Ah, uh, okay. Now I see. These this text is changing. This is moving left, right, and center. Okay. Alright, now let's see what happens when we do color. Um, white. Okay, so that changes the text. Okay, it doesn't change the text up here though. Probably because those are in, yeah, those are in heading tags, but it changes the rest of the text. Okay, cool. All right. Click finish. We're done with that exercise. Find the rules, borders. Find the rules in the style sheet that set image borders, color, and width. Style sheet. Uh, okay, image, keyword. So let's look at the image rule set right here. This is the image rule set. Okay, change the color and width of your borders. Okay, color and width. So, border color, saddle brown, let's make it uh, dark green. Okay, and width of your borders. So, 250, let's make it five, 500 px. Okay. Okay, so the image enlarged when I increase the width of my borders. Try out some different border styles. Choose from dotted, dashed, solid, and double. Let's change this back to 250 because this is kind of getting distracting. Okay. All right, so let's go to border styles. Uh, they want us to try dotted. Okay, I see some little dots in there. It's hard to see though. They want us to try dashed, dashed. Okay, that's visible. That's very visible. That's interesting. We already saw solid. So let's look at double. Okay, it's a thin set of two lines. Okay, put a border on another type of page element, such as one of the headings or the paragraphs. Okay. All right, then to do that, I'm going to I'm going to copy all the border, uh, what are the, I'm going to add all these border rules to the headings. Let's go with H1. Okay, paste that in there, copy it from image, paste it in H1, and look. I got a border around my H1 tag. I like that. Okay, we're done with exercise six. So let's move on. Border radius. Look at the border radius property inside your image rule set. Okay, so we got to click style.css, find our image rule set right here. Discuss with your partner what you think the property does. 
border radius. Well, let's try it out. Let's see. So we're going to be looking at the borders around the images. Uh, let's just add a zero. Okay, so this is what we discussed. I think this was exercise two or three. I had a long discussion about what was going on with border radius. So now we see, again, if I delete this zero, this zero over here, the border radius, the, the image is bigger. If I increase the border radius, the image is smaller, it's cut off. So that's what border radius does. Okay, try different values for border radius and decide which one you like the best. I didn't like 100, I'm going to keep it at 10. Float. Look at the float property inside of your image rule set. Again, we got to go to style.css, find our image rule set. Here's our image rule set. Discuss with your partner what you think the property does. Okay, we did look at this in exercise two and three as well, but I kind of forget. So let's make it right. Oh yeah, everything, okay. The image was floating to the left and the text showed up on the right side of it. Now the image is floating right and the text is showing up on the left side. Cool. Okay, that's it for exercise eight. Width and height. Find the property in the style sheet that controls the width of the images. Again, we're going to go to style sheet, find the image rule set, and look for something that is controlling the width. Obviously, it's going to be this, width. Change the width of the images to be larger or smaller. So let's go with 300. Not that big of a difference. Let's make it 500. Okay, yeah, that's a huge difference. So back to 250, this was what it was set at. That's what it looks like. If you look over here, let's change it to 100. Very small. You got to be able to see what this dish is. If you're making this website, you want the, the users and the people visiting the website to see the dish. So you want to make it probably 300. I can see what the dish is. Create a new rule with the height property to control the height of the images. Okay, so they want us to make a new rule in the image tag. Let's name it height. Yeah, that's what they wanted us to do. Okay. Uh, okay, I created the rule. Use the width property in the P. Okay, I guess they want us to put in a height now. So let's do that. Uh, 100 PX. Okay, this looks funky, but we're going to keep it there. Use the width property in the P rule set. Okay, let's find the P rule set. Okay, and we need to create the width property. Okay. And they want us to change the width of the paragraphs. Wow. So I changed it to 100, and it's very thin. So I would guess that the... Standard was probably 300. Yeah. Okay. Well, once you've done that, you're done with exercise nine. I'm going to stop the video here and make a second part.